Hello everybody, welcome to tonight's edition of Acoustic Worship Devotionals. Karibu ni sana feel at the feet of Jesus. Uh, I remember that phrase, feel at the feet of Jesus. I was I was a small girl when I had that phrase. So phrase, so I didn't really understand what it meant. But right now I'm actually very glad to just sit at his feet. So sitting at his feet means you just um, gaze upon him. And just think of, I, I have a cat and a dog as well. So when, when, I'm, when I'm feeding them or when I'm just, uh, when I'm standing over them and just pouring my love out to them, <laughs> yes, I do that. Um, they look at me and they're just like, and I'm like, oh, that's the most cutest gaze, you know. So feel at Jesus' feet. Just gaze upon him and as a child receive what he has for you because he he purchased freedom for you and our theme today is Jesus our freedom so kwanzia ninataka ni wasome verse from Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 ah uh, it says the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to those that are bound. So Jesus is such a deliverer and there's many things that he is, but um, in my season right now, I'm, I'm, I'm encountering him as a deliverer. Jesus for your love over us. As we praise you and as we worship you, we pray that your freedom may manifest in our lives. Wherever we may feel bound, wherever we may feel stuck, wherever we may feel like we, we just cannot move on, thank you that your truth is setting us free, is making us free. For you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Jesus. Amen. And part of him being a deliverer is him being a champion, our hero. So I want us to sing a song together, if you can join me, that says that declares him champion.
so grateful that God has won it for, for, for me. God has won it for us. And how did he win it? By dying on the cross for our sins. You know, that on the cross, you know, he laid everything. He laid himself so that we could be free. You know, and right now I just want us to go in prayer and just thank God for freedom. Thank God that we are no longer in chains. Thank God that on the cross, we were given a second chance. So dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we thank you that on the cross, Father Lord, we gained freedom. We are sons of freedom. You know, your word reminds us in Romans that, you know, we are no longer children of fear. We are no longer sons of fear, that we should not fear, but we are the, we are the sons of we have received sonship by which we call him our Father. So tonight, Lord, we just thank you for the gift of freedom. Father, we thank you that Jehovah Jireh, Lord, you know, we are free from any form of depression, any form of, you know, addiction, you know. For, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are free, Lord, from chains of, of, of cancer, of diabetes, almighty Father, Lord, chains of, you know, of depression, Every chain is broken. Jesus. Father, we thank you that you have won it for us. Thank you, thank you that you have won it for me. Victorious. That once Jehovah Nissi, I was blind. Yes. But no, now I can see. Thank you. Oh, you know, when I just think of, of such, yes. my heart is overwhelmed. Yes. Father, we thank you. Father, I thank you that I'm no longer a slave to fear but I am a child of God. Yes. I have been set free. I am the son of a champion, yes. for he has won it all for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Lord. You're worthy. Amen. Amen, Jesus. And as we, as we declare freedom, you know, I'd like us to to sing a song together you know declaring that we are free you know so as you sing this song know that you're singing it as a freed person you know sing it with freedom with joy with happiness you know you you know you can take an example you know a, a, a you know a convict you know, the joy that a convict has when he's finally released from prison, that is the same kind of joy that I would like us to sing with as we declare our freedom in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You're worthy. Lord, we live a victorious life because we have been set free. Children of freedom.
receive it now, receive freedom. He is free. Salvation is not found in the name freedom. Salvation is only found in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that there's no other name given to man whereby we must be saved. It's only the name of Jesus. And inherently, human beings are fallen. We are separate from God. We are born facing another direction away from God. What separates us is sin. What comes in the gap between us and God is sin. But there's a solution. And God the Father, in His will, in His perfect will, John 3.16 said, He loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. This really happened, that he came on earth and, and, and received the punishment of our sin. The Bible says he was born to die. He, he was literally wrapped in swaddling clothes. In Jewish tradition, swaddling clothes are wrapped to the dead. So when he was born, he was wrapped in swaddling clothes. He was born to die. And this is a perfect gift from the Father. You, I don't know if you've been told to give money and give whatever that God requires you to be sidriwapi, that you need to be okay, but that's a lie from the enemy. God gave salvation free of charge. Salvation is the free gift of God. And my brother, my sister, you can receive salvation right now as we speak. It's it's not a very hectic process. The Bible says that you need to recognize, one, that you're a sinner. And that you need saving. That today, if you stand before a righteous judge, that you will be condemned. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. If today you stood before the righteous king, who is God the Father, and he will judge the earth. He will judge. If you stood before him today, in and of yourself would you stand I want you to be very honest with yourself don't play games with your soul don't play games with, with your, the eternity of your soul because your soul is eternal if you stood before the righteous judge right now in and of yourself would, would he count you righteous or unrighteous and if you're honest with yourself you have broken the ten commandments and you have fallen so short. All of us have. But what Jesus, what the people who have received Jesus, how we will stand before God on that day, is we will stand with all our shortcomings. But we will say, I, I put my faith in the perfect work of Jesus. That is what we will say. That is our confidence. That is our faith. That is what the meaning of faith is what you put your trust in. So I urge you today, this is an open call. What are you putting your trust in? Do not put your trust in yourself. Do not put your trust in any man. Because we have all fallen short. But there's one who is worthy. He walked the earth. He walked the dirt, the dirt of the earth to bring you salvation. So it's a free, free gift. You, you, okay, if you're there and you're asking me how, how you can receive, receive him, number one, you are a sinner. Acknowledge that. Number two, recognize that there's a savior of the world. That he came, he lived the perfect life that the Father requires of us, uh, us all. And number three, ask him to be your Lord and your savior. Those are two parts, Lord and savior. So savior, Acknowledge that he takes away all your sin. 
and Lord, give him your life. Give him your will. Yes, he can tell you what to do from now on. Yes, you will need to die to yourself. Yes, you will. But there is such freedom in dying to yourself and taking up the will of the Father. So right now, kindly let me lead you to this prayer. It, it's my great honor and privilege to lead you into this. So just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today. I acknowledge how sinful I am, oh God. And this world, of, I am so broken. This world has brought me hurt, has brought me pain, and I am done serving my will. I am done serving the devil. And Father, right now, I want to renounce every work of the enemy in my life. And I recognize that Jesus is the Savior of the world. And my Lord and Savior Jesus, I speak directly to you. And I ask you to save my soul come into my heart and live in my heart I don't want to walk this earth anymore without you the world is a cruel master myself in and of myself I'm a cruel master to myself but I submit my whole self to you Father receive me as I receive you in the name of Jesus I born again. You are so born again. We bless the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for our brother and our sister that has said this prayer. Father, thank you that you walk with us on this earth, that you never leave, you never forsake us. Even in our shortcomings, Lord, you are with us. And Father, I speak a blessing over them. Let them never know any other day away from the Lord. Father, walk with them. I ask your spirit to indwell them right now as you have promised in the name of Jesus. Father, clothe them in glory and let the name of Jesus be named over them. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are free. No more chains for they in Jesus' name. Let's sing that over them. You are free. No more chains. They are broken. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. And we glorify you. We celebrate with the angels. And glorify you for the work of salvation. Receive your reward, oh God. Receive your reward for you are worthy of every soul and every nation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless you guys. We will see you next week on Monday. Same place.